Good morning, uh, Tammy. Indeed, uh, Friday, Black Friday, was already a record breaker. Apparently, on online shopping, five and a half billion dollars spent uh, Friday last week with uh, Americans and Canadians, and really globally, it's this phenomenon of uh, shopping at this time of the year and really ramping up uh, over the U.S. Thanksgiving weekend. Today, it's expected to be six and a half billion dollars of cyber shopping on Cyber Monday. So we'll see if, in fact, uh, consumers have more money to spend if there are deals to be had. We're already tracking share of Amazon.com, which you'll probably see about a 50% increase in overall shopping uh, spending over this uh, today. Uh, Amazon stock is at a record high this morning. It's closing in on $1,200 a share. And the company founder, Jeff Bezos, has cleared $100 billion in net worth. He is now the world's richest man and uh, at a widening margin on that metric. Uh, we've got uh, Bitcoin going way up this morning. If you are buying cryptocurrencies and doing some retail on that level, uh, Bitcoin is close to $10,000 U.S. this morning. Last week, it cleared $8,000 for the first time. It's up $1,200 right now, $9,500 and change. And uh, that cryptocurrency scene has just gone uh, stratospheric, uh, exponentially so. Uh, Bitcoin's up more than 900% uh, for the year. Uh, the other cryptocurrencies doing pretty much the same. Canadian dollar this morning fairly steady, just shy of 79 cents. U.S. about a dollar 25, dollar 27 on the exchange rate, and a media takeover in the works stateside. The publisher, Time Inc., publisher of Time Magazine and Sports Illustrated, looking over a takeover bid from Meredith Corporation, which is a rival publisher of uh, Better Homes and Gardens. And that deal getting the backing of the Koch brothers, big Republican fundraisers, raising some questions about political influence on time uh, going forward. And uh, they're saying they're not going to get a seat on the board of directors. But nevertheless, you're seeing the uh, crossover between uh, politics and publishing again in the work specifically in U.S. media circles. I'll send it back to the studio.